book, uh, go through this uh, part, how to use much. Uh, okay, so uh, let me open up the IMP file that uh, we're gonna use. And this is the IMP file that uh, I'm try I will be I will be using. And as you see, we have here the nodes, and after after that elements and uh, if, if you define any sense or anything it will be included over this part the point the thing that i have done here is uh, i i have defined a set over here a contact by the name of contact it it is uh, this uh, contact surface a slave contact surface why i've done this is this because when i uh, when i go to IMP file. I have a node set and element sets, element set of the nodes and elements which are in contact. Uh, the thing that I will I will be using will be this part. So these are the nodes, uh, or if I go over here, these are the no node numbers are every one of these uh, nodes in contact on the slave service. Uh, and uh, we also in this part in at just right on top of it we have element uh, elements which are uh, giving me the element number and four nodes that are connected with that element so this is because I'm using four node element and so if I you know, find so I have node numbers I can find based on those node numbers, I can find elements which are connected to that node. So if I show it on picture over here, for example, I know the node number over for this node. Then based on using this uh, using this file which gives me the connectivity of elements, I can find uh, this element and this element. So I have the node number, I know this number, the node number over here, and that uh, this number will be one of these four numbers for uh, one of these elements. And uh, if I find that, I will find these two elements connected to this node. So finally, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, finding any two elements which are uh, connected to any uh, desired node and find the pro uh, prob uh, property of each of these elements and somehow uh, for example average these two numbers and relate that number to this uh, uh, node over here for example I want to determine the yield strength over this element and this element and then I will uh, average these two and assign it to yield strength at this point and I will use these real strains uh, for the contact uh, formulation. So uh, what I need to do is uh, I will I need to open up the IMP file. You can use different uh, software. For example, you can use uh, MATLAB, and you can write a simple code in it and uh, just copy paste these elements and nodes and that uh, contact nodes and uh, write a simple code to form the connectivity matrix and uh, by connectivity matrix i need uh, something the result of this uh, code should be something like this that gives me for example this is the node number and this uh, these are two elements that are linked to that node and for example this one is zero because this is the very first point at the corner this is uh, this is this node over here and um, because I just need, uh, because it has just one element, the other element number is zero. But other than that, all the elements they have two, all the nodes, they are connected to uh, two elements. So this is what I need to get from any code that you can write in any different uh, desired software. For example, but here to walk you through the different abilities of uh, using different softwares, uh, different subroutines I'm going to use uh, 
I'm going to do this and derivation of this uh, connectivity uh, matrix, uh, which again, I need to show it to you, this matrix, connectivity matrix. I'm going to do it within uh, UMAT subroutine. You can use different subroutines to define, uh, determine it. For example, you can use USDFLD subroutine to determine it. Or as like I said, you can just write a simple code in uh, MATLAB or Mathematica or anything else and derive this matrix. But there are a lot of good things in doing it in UMAT in terms of uh, there are a lot of things that we can learn here. For example, okay, at first, if I open up the IMP file, at first, I'm going to go uh, uh, to uh, search this uh, IMP file and find this uh, nodes on contact surface, this nodes. But how I need to, how I'm going to supposed to search within the IMP file, this is the, this is a cool way to do this. At first, uh, I, I will be, okay, let me find the proper position that I have it there. And okay, it is a long code, but it is okay. Yes, yeah, okay. There is a cool feature that we can just, uh, my point is, I don't know where it is positioned, but I just know that it is positioned below this line. So what I will do is I will define a search option, uh, ser search item, where you say, and this search item is this one. And I have it, for example, here. And I know that uh, these nodes, uh, these sets of nodes will start at uh, a line which starts with this one and I have it here as a search item 3 and it ends over here and I have this one as you see over here as search item 4. So what this code actually does is, let's start from here, I will go through the rest of the code in just, in just a minute. I will open up the IMP file and let's start with search three and four first. Okay, I will open the IMP file and I will give it, I will start reading the uh, IMP file and I will, I will, I had given it a large number, which should be a number that gives, uh, you know, gives ends with this note, this point, but uh, because I don't know what what is the line number of this one, I've given a very large number. Then when I get to this point, I will uh, cut the rest of the do loop. So I will read each line and I will put each line into a phrase. And what, it, what the phrase is, I have defined the phrase over here that over here, a phrase can be a hundred uh, character lengths. So for example, I, I can, a uh, hundred le uh, character lengths is sufficient to read all these long lines over here. Uh, if you have it, for example, if you know the length of the line, you can just you know, put a definite number here, but if you don't know it, just give it a large number. And I've just given a large, num large number, which is enough to have the entire row of elements over here. So it will read each line, which uh, all these characters over here. Then it will uh, try to see if this phrase matches with this search item. And search item is this, uh, for, uh, for this case, is search tree, which we define it to be this, uh, this one. So it will read it if uh, this, uh, this uh, line which is now in, uh, is placed in this phrase, is equal to this search item, then we know that we have, uh, we have got to the right point that we need to start collecting the data. So if uh, we are at this point, okay, just exit the do loop because now I know which line I need to start. So I know the start of this one. And then I need to find the end of this one again. 
So I will do the same thing, but I will start reading from I, which is when this uh, reading is interrupted, which is at this point. And I will try to give it, I have given it a thousand because I just needed, I don't know, 20, uh, with me over here, I just had 11, 12 rows. So I just could have given it uh, 12 rows, but I have given a thousand, which is fine because I'm gonna interrupt the do loop whenever I'm I, I have what I want, what I'm looking for. So again, I will read each line and I will put it in a phrase. And when this phrase is equal to uh, search for, which search for is search uh, for is this one, which is at the end of this uh, numbers that I need, I will again interrupt it. But before, if uh, this search is not equal to one, uh, because I know uh, I'm within these numbers that I want to collect them, I will open another file in, for example, uh, text in temp, and I have this number and name for it, contact notes, and I will try to re write them as an input file, output file, and so I will have this one, and it says, okay, we have not reached, we have not reached to this point, so I can write this one. Then it will go to another loop. It will re write down another line. But when it gets to the, this point, it says, okay, now uh, this phrase and search item are the same. So that's the point that I don't want to go any further and I will uh, erupt or exit this loop. So the result would be a file, contact node, which will be something like this. And these numbers are exactly the same as these numbers. Um, this is a very simple and cool way how to get this uh, done in within the subject. Uh, but we have another step to go to work with these numbers. As you see, these are, uh, we have 16 characters, 16 numbers or items in line. And for example, here I have uh, 12 uh, rows of data. But point is, I need to know every single uh, individual number. So I need to have, for example, this one as a, uh, I need to, uh, in other way, on, in other word, I need to put this matrix into an array, which gives me a uh, better op option to work with this number. So now for, I have a matrix, which is uh, 16 uh, columns and 12 uh, rows but I'm gonna put it as one row and uh, 16 by 11 uh, uh, rows. So what I want to do here, I will uh, allocate, why I've used allocate over here because I didn't know how uh, large these data are in a prior to reading them. So I have just uh, read the data and I know that uh, I started at line, if you uh, could follow me. Uh, we started at, uh, we knew that the uh, search item tree started at line I, so we know the first one, and it erupted or we came out of the loop at line J, so we have I minus J or J minus I line, lines between these two, and we know we have 16 characters over here. So all together we know how large this uh, uh, final uh, file is gonna be. So I, at first I have read this file again uh, to put it into matrices. So this matrix will have 16 uh, columns and J minus I minus one lines. I have excluded this one because I didn't want to include this part to make some to cause some mess into the calculation. So I put it in a, a matrix, which is a co-node. And now uh, using this co-node, I have uh, reached to this final thing that I want, contact node, which will have one column, but it will have J minus I minus one, uh, multiple by 16 uh, characters. So now I know, uh, now I have everything that I want, that I needed uh, from uh, nodes. It will be a single, uh, it is a matrix 
uh, which has just one comment.